Hey everyone, it's Tony from the Handlebar Workshops. Today we're in the garage workshop. I'm going to be working on the backs of the Morris chairs. It's a uh, mortise and tenon joinery and it's quite a few of them, but compared to what we have been working on, this is much easier. Uh, this is more of the how-to video. It digs deeper in and takes a little longer and a little bit more tedious. If you're looking for just a more overview type thing, I'll post that once all these videos are done and the link will be down in the description below. Check out the back. I need to dimension the walnut for the vertical slats of the chair. Then I need to dimension the cherry for the horizontal rails. So now I need to mark out the mortises on the sides of the back. These are going to be in such a way that they sit like this with the mortise in here and the cherry is going to have tenons and they're going to bridge across like a ladder. I'm going to base everything from the top. So I'm going to get everything all nice and lined up straight here. And I'm going to put a clamp on that. And then I'll do the same down on the bottom. And then I've got the measurements of where I want my mortises to kind of go in between. Well, actually, that's going to be the actual cherry pieces there. So the mortises are going to be an eighth inch down from those dotted lines. So following that, you just take a set of dividers and set them up to the right distance that I need. In this case, three eighths. Make a divot right in the center there. Because this is walnut and that's a dark mark, I've got a white pencil here. That's going to be the top of my first mortise. First mortise is going to be three and three quarters. Put it in that hole there. Use my square to get the right distance in. Hole there and mark it there. That's the bottom of my first mortise. So now that I have two distances that are going to repeat, the distance between the mortises and the mortises themselves for the other slats going down. So I've got two sets of dividers. I'm going to set them up to the proper widths. Now I can just alternate between the two. So now I just use a square and pull those marks over to the other boards. Now you can see I have just about an eighth of an inch as shoulders for each of the mortises over here. You can see here we're right at one and one eighth inch thick. That's nine eighths. So if I want a half inch mortise in here, that leaves us with five eighths left over. If I want half on this side and half on this side, that's five sixteenths on each side. So if I just mark in at five sixteenths, we're left with a exactly half inch. So what I can do now is I can put my depth gauge, my marking gauge, right in that mark there. There we go. And that's right where our mortise is going to be, right in there. Now I just got to mark the rest of them.
Now these mortise and tenons should fit each other no matter what, obviously not the big one here at the top, but these all should fit no matter how I mix them up. But just, just in case, I'm going to mark them just like I did the other ones. And then I'm going to mark them in the mortises as well. So using a marking gauge, I'm going to mark where I want all of my holes for the draw bores to be. So using a square, I'm going to mark the tops and bottoms of my mortise. And then I'm going to bring those marks around the side a little bit. So looking between my two lines here, I'm about three and three quarters between lines here and here. So I'm going to split that up into one and a quarter inch increments here. And then that should leave me with one and a quarter inch in the middle. I'll bring those back to cross the line I made with my marking gauge. So there are my two X's right there. Now the rest of my lines are going to be right about two and a quarter inches long here. So if I go one and an eighth from the top for the rest of the way down, I'll mark right in the middle. And just like the one at the top, I'll bring this over to cross with my marking gauge line right here. So now I have all of my marks for my draw bore holes. Alright, so with all of these, with the long mortises at the top facing each other, you can square them up. Now I can use the marks that I just made and pull them all the way over to the other sides here. Now using my marking gauge, I can easily come here and mark the cross line. I gotta drill the hole for the pivot point somewhere in this area here. It would've been easier to do it before it was all put together and I could've done it on the uh, drill press, but I forgot. So now I gotta do it the hard way. Let's see where we're at. Not even an inch yet. Got to get to about an inch and five eighths. Just a little bit more. Just so you have an idea, that's how far I went over. Just looking about half inch over on this side. So with the back done, we're pretty much ready to start putting everything together. So uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And then while you're down there, hit the subscribe button because the next one's going to be the glue up video. And you don't want to miss that one. So make sure you hit the little bell next to the subscribe button as well. As always, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.